Hello painters, how are you? I have in gift these little guys. You know, I like painting these reversible octopus. And these are super cute and super fun. And I have a little idea for Halloween. These are already dressed. But how about we have one of these from big eyes from here? And we make some little costume for a Halloween special. So I am going to make my own version here right now. I am going to do it digitally so it's easier and faster. And I'm going to explain you how you can participate in this Halloween special challenge. Let's go. I am going to use the opportunity to make the painting from real life because I have here my plushie but I am going to make the sketch in Procreate because I think I am going to be more comfortable sketching here okay first I am going to get rid of this awful background okay so cute okay first of all i draw it with this silly face rather than the just happy or just grumpy face because i am going to make it a sushi cook one of the reasons why i love a rage is because you cannot change all of this so the paintings turn more organic and i don't know this is way too artificial for my opinion i love this and i use this a lot but you know this is maybe too correct too perfect i like it to be more mundane more casual more quick sketchy with mistakes you know okay back to the painting I am going to make it a cook and for that I am going to grab some references. For example, I wanted to have this rope around the, the head. I think it could be nice. Let me define the volume. Now it's a sushi cook. So now I'm going to copy where the shadows are. Okay, now I am going to paint this on a rate as I usually do. After using Procreate for a while, then I always tend to do the double tap to undo and redo. <laughs> I miss that so much. Please, a rate add this to the tool please or not really because one thing i like to avoid when i paint on a rage is to erase things and undo things it would be useful of course but a rage is about organic painting right and organically in real life you don't have as many opportunities of redoing as you have on procreate Okay, now this starts to look like a painting, so I am going to start coloring as always. I wanted to make this challenge easy and fast. No matter what medium you are using and no matter how experienced you are on painting, you can use your preferred medium or you can use some of the photos that I have taken for you and you can just draw on top of them. For example, you can use Photoshop or any drawing app you may have and you just create a layer on top of the photo and you can make a wizard coat or a Spider-Man mask your best, your imagination. I am giving you several images so you can choose your preferred one or you can maybe join several times if you want.
use the hashtag paintwithalai and I am going to review every entry we made prior to the 24th so I can have enough time to review them if they are plenty and maybe we can make another video with that again you can use a photo and just draw onto it you can make your own painting you can do it on acrylics you can do a quick sketch with a pencil you can do whatever you want I just want to see how cute you dress or how creepy you dress our cute grumpy octopus and yeah maybe we can celebrate Halloween with this little challenge Okay, so this was my entry for the challenge. I hope you can join me and paint your own plushie for the Halloween. And if we have enough entries, I am going to make another video so we can review them. Use the hashtag PaintWithAlai and we all can see those. I hope you have enjoyed and I see you next week with another painting video. Bye!